When he begins to explain, he says, 70 weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city to finish the transgression. This is the 70 weeks in Daniel 9. Interesting thing is a word which is translated here, determined, because you probably know that the Bible was not written in English, but in a different language, which was translated to English, and then the other language, this word which in English reads determined is cut off, like when you cut off a slice of bread. And um, so the 70 weeks are cut off from something bigger. Here's just a little illustration of that. Yeah. And, and you can think of it like the small slice, that's like the 70 weeks or the 490 years. And the big one is the 2300. Yeah. But actually this illustration really helps you when you cut off the slice from the big one, the slice and the bread have the same starting point. Yeah. 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 So you can see it like it's quite obvious. The 2,300 days where we don't have a starting point, but the 490 years where we have a starting point, mm. you can use the starting point of the 490 years also for the 2,300 days, just with the brand. Like, uh, Daniel chapter 9 verse 25 where it says, uh, from the going forth of the commandments. Uh, that's when, so that will be the starting date. And so how do we understand what the starting date is? And actually, when you, you will find out when you give a little study to, to the decrees the Bible mentions about Jerusalem being rebuilt, that's like the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. You will see that there were actually three decrees which were um, involved in the restoration and building of Jerusalem. So actually that makes even our whole study a bit more complex because now the question is, which one is the right one? Because yeah. it cannot be all three. Mm. So, um, here's a really helpful verse in Ezra 6, verse 14, which helps us to get an easy answer to this question. Let's read it. So, the elders of the Jews built the temple, and they prospered through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. And according to the command of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, wow. king of Persia. Mm. So this is actually those three kings which each gave a command or decree. It was Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes. But it's interesting here, it says they built and finished it. And the finishing degree or the decree or the last decree was the one of Artaxerxes. So the previous degrees of Cyrus and Darius, they helped to do it, but they didn't finish it. So the condition of Daniel 9 was not fully met. Only when the degree of Artaxerxes came, really fully the condition was met. And um, so we really can say that the decree of Artaxerxes, which you can find in Ezra 7 verses 11 to 28, must be the right one. It was also the largest of the three degrees which gave the Jews the most support, and it also completed the building. So this must be it. And there again, we, we can actually go to a Bible verse to find that out, which is Ezra 7 verses 1, 6, and 7. Here it reads, Now after these things in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, Ezra the son of Sariah came up from Babylon, and he was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. So this is the king, he granted it him in, in a degree, in a decree. Yeah. Some of the children of Israel, the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Nephilim came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. And actually, when you read on, you will see that they came to Jerusalem and, and completed the building because of the decree of the king sending them back. Theology, because there were excavations where they found artifacts and chronologies of that time. And we can pinpoint this time of the seventh year of Artaxerxes in history, which was the year 475 BC.